Welcome back to Thigh and I Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we went around Colony 9 after freeing it from the grip of Mobius and did a bunch of side quests. We helped out with supply issues, personnel issues, food issues. Well, we've set them on their way for some of those things. There's still a lot of problems. But anyway, I am finally happy and proud to say that today is main story. We're here at uh, Elisa's Spout where we first found Valdi. Now that we have his ability to climb, what, what are you noticing? That, we're not fighting. We can climb up the wall that Ethel told us to climb up and we are finally going to do it and we're not going to fight the Tyrkin's battles for them. Wait, before I see some, there's a husk. Yes, yes, we've seen, stop talking. Gosh, you're like a bunch of children just going from one topic to the next. Proper tone. Let me see this guy off properly. And then we can drop down the ladder so we don't have to climb up. Even though that's like next to useless because of fast travel. You operate it like so. Really, the only reason I'm doing this is to get rid of that like magnifying glass mark off of my map. If that wasn't there, I wouldn't bother with this. But it doesn't matter. We got Zeon last episode. He's in our party now. We are going to uh, play with him in the party rather than uh, Valdi for a bit, just because uh, he's new and I want him to. I want him to. I want really. I want everyone to start making progress towards Precipice of Judgment uh, to unlocking his class. So we are definitely. Oh, oh we have to do some platforming. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. It's like a regular uh, platformer. Mario Brothers, Conker's Bad Fur Day, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Pretty sure those are all platformers. Conker might not be. I don't know, I haven't played Conker in years. Great game, though. Highly recommend. Let's see if we can't get back over so I don't have to climb up again. Oh, we're great. I'm a, I'm a master platformer. Let us continue. Up and up and up we go. Shulk and Ryan and everyone didn't have this problem. The problem of having to learn how to climb. They just, they were born and knowing it. But we do have a lot of resources on the way. So much to see. Duma's jaw. Before we climb up this last one, I've noticed uh, uh, decently often, we have, uh, oh, I should go into the quests. And then the Collectopedia cards. We have a bunch of people. Look at all these cards. These icons, these like little sparkling bag icons next to their names. They're what indicates whether or not we have all the materials. Like see, for Ellis, there's no icon because we don't have two blue chains. But for Harala, we have the twin generators and the ever revolving. So we can hand them in. And I do believe we're going to hand them in because we get uh, rewards and affinity. And the icons go away after after you get them. them. So you see with these, you get like a, apprentice van braces. Those are the rewards. I want to actually, I want to show. See, um, Haral is a good example. Before we got an item and some affinity, but and now Haral has a second like set of requests. So we get more affinity and another reward for a, like it's a different card essentially. But Camilla is not the same way. You can repeat Collectopedia card requests, but if you're repeating them, you don't get nearly as much affinity. See, it's like before we got 30, this we'd, we'd only get six. It's, it's technically a repeatable way to get all the affinity you need, but it's not really efficient and it's easier just to do quests and sending off husks and do them the first time, the Collectopedia cards. So I'm going to quickly go through do give everyone the required materials that they want and then we will continue on because seeing seeing the icon up in the corner has bugged me as much as it may or may not have bugged you and carries the last one swimmers chemise chemise never known how to pronounce that but we got lots of uh, lots of uh accessories that's the word and we got a bunch of affinity You'll see that that gauge just 
going up for several. Ooh, we even got an infinity level increase for 30. That is useful. We get a special perk for that. Man, there are just battles everywhere. Either way, we finally, finally can continue. So let's get some actual story. And by story, I mean an introduction to the Fornus region. Ray Bale Tableland. Well, not an introduction to the Fornus, but a new area. That's funny. I'd never noticed that before. Oh, do they not have our moves where you're from? Yeah, I meant getting old. Is that what that is? <laughs> it's called getting old, this. That smaller Amu over there. It starts little, but grows over time. It becomes like the bigger one. All the creatures do it. But we never change that much. Ah. Such a basic fact. So why haven't we realized it before? Realization leads to hope, which in due time turns to despair. The significance of the stasis is driven ever deeper within. A moment in time, a sublime experience. That brilliance, it shines ascendant over all else. That's why it takes so much freaking work. Working stinks. They all learn sooner or later. They learn how priceless it was, how grossly irreplaceable. The eclipse grows near. They get along nice. Must be good friends. It's funny. Just looking at these guys. It puts your mind at ease. Hmm. Is it an effect of becoming Ouroboros? Good question. Still, I think I could get used to this. Yeah. Me too. A supply drop somewhere off in the distance. Glad you can interrupt such a profound moment. Was that ground check again? Oh, okay. Well, apparently it's gone now. We're not going to worry about that. Or the husk. What level are we? We are... We're 23. We're on par. Is there anything I want to do just right out the bat? Not fight the yard. It's like, we... I, I love that this fight is happening because we just... We come up to the table land, we see, we observe the nature of reality and getting old and aging. It's like, look at this tiny Armu, and look at this slightly bigger Armu, and look at this bigger one. It's like, this is the natural world, and I'm like, okay, now let's kill them. Let's end this cycle. It's like, Noah, please. Are we really doing, okay, fine. Oh, yep, more just, oh, okay, fine. We're in, we're in this, I'm not... Sunk cost fallacy. Just cut to the end of this fight. Nothing important is going to happen. Now that that's finally over, that took way too long. No, leave me. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dealing with you guys as well. There are so many enemies out here, and we're just at the level where every single one of them will aggro at me. Just go away. Where's the cutscene? Just let me leave. Let me leave. Stop fighting. Go away! Give me the cutscene. Come on, come on, come on. Just just give me the cutscene. <sighs> Finally.
Did you find something? Hmm? No. <sighs> Just brings me back a bit. It reminded me of someone. Oh, yeah? What is this? A Sophronia. I know that, but I've never seen one in such full bloom before. <laughs> it's special. Huh? So, why give this to me? It's a treasure of mine. I'd like to go back someday, to where this was taken. It's a dream I have. Not that I have all that much time to spare. But soon. <sighs> she was the one who taught me strategy. Who taught me how to fight using the Mondo. Hmm? Sorry. Not to worry. But why? Why did she show me that picture? I suppose she wanted to share it with you. The memory. Is that why she... You know, it's not unheard of. Huh? These soldiers. Tyon! These are your targets? Sir. Yeah. You'll handle it, right? And it's... because they're consorting with enemy soldiers. If that's so, shouldn't we question them first? Uh, you're a hell of a stickler, aren't you? I could just go and do it the K way. Uh, forget it. There's just no zest. This time, I'm gonna take a different angle. C console? <laughs> Let's do this, Izzard. Spill it for me. Give me all your feelings deep inside. It's another thing to see it for yourself, eh? A lovely Sophronia tree. Man, it seems like whenever Mobius comes up, it's so supremely ominous. Never seen this place before. Loamy Hill. What are we in? Hyrule? Isn't there like a Loamy Hill? Uh, where is that? You know what Manana just told me? She said that in the night, the trees wake up and start to wander. No, no, not listening, can't hear a thing. Oh, you interrupting our ghost stories. How dare you? There's a chest over there and a serprond. Never seen... Oh, it's very high leveled. We're not going to attempt that. Uh, do I want to get that? No, I don't. I'm sure we'll find it later. I'm sure there'll be some reason to go over to that cave in the future. Whether that just be exploring mindlessly or some future quest. Given the amount of quests, I'm not going to uh, discount that as a possibility. But I do want to get this one. Because I need more Nopon coins. What else are we doing? We're going... Oh, what was that? Was there a battle between... Hardens, okay, not fighting you. I will intervene with the Cavas and Agnes, though. Because I just said I do need Nopon coins, and these usually are a good way of getting Nopon coins. 
Ooh, I can choose. Do I want to help Kevis or Agnes? I, uh, I'm going to help Kevis. I do want those coins. And what is it? Just an Avis and a Tetsudo? Yes. Or what is that? A Testudo? Get rid of your art, please. Testudo. Not a Tetsudo. A Testudo. Got it. Well, either way, it's nearly dead. Yeah, this fight is not going to be difficult. But, resources. Ooh, a shoulder gun. Like Doom Guy, but like. Bigger. Well, I got two coins. It's fine. Only 150 meters away from another objective. You guys just love to yammer on. What's in this cave? Yammer, yammer, yammer. Yeah, we're going to go in and explore the cave. Hopefully, I'm just going to ignore all of the enemies because we leveled up. We leveled up after that fight in, with the Ardens in the beginning of the episode because uh, there was a chain attack and that boosted the EXP. Rutez Bar, we like gotta level up. It doesn't matter. And we need we need level ups occasionally. Oh my god, more Ardens, leave me alone. Oh, it's a Hulk. Um, yeah, we might as well. It's right over here. Oh, these enemy if I could turn off enemy aggression, I absolutely promise you I would. We got a quest. The Table Land Hulk. Yeah, I'm going to absolutely do this. Wow, there is a lot of enemies to kill. Oh my god, go away! This is crazy. Okay. There's like... <laughs> so many. We're going to... Uh, there's like 11 of these. Oh my gosh. Well, it probably is going to be easy enough. Hopefully. In unless something super unimaginably interesting happens in these fights. And the only thing I would consider to meet that criteria is like leveling up or getting class class uh, unlocks or whatever that is oh there's 10 of them uh whatever you guys don't need to sit through this it's just killing 10 ferrises i'll see you if something interesting happens or at the end whichever comes first got some arts mastered and uh class acquired from that for a few people we're eight down, by the way. So there's this one and one over there, and then we're good. You know what? Since there's only two left, we'll just continue from here. These fights are not going to take nearly the amount of time you might expect. Oh, the battery. No. We only have the one left. And it's not going to be a challenge. There was one particularly dicey spot, but a well-timed chain attack. It saved us. Just employ a little bit of strategy and you'll be perfectly fine and safe and everything. Look, see, we're already hacked on this fight. It's perfectly fine. No threat whatsoever. Ferrises are only really dangerous when they attack in packs. So for something like this, I do recommend uh, using your lure and just drawing them away from the fighting all their partners and just fight them one by one it's uh it's ultimately much safer but uh we we defeated all those things and now we should have ample amount of ether cylinders from just uh mindless exploring how many do we need for this one hey, can I get a hand here? On it. that's what we're here for We need a grand total of 10? Wow, that's a lot more than I thought. Okay, well, I mean, we have 14, so we might as well. And this will give us uh, access to a Napa on Caravan, which in and of itself is uh, rather useless, but we do have the Napa on Register quest. So we need to we need to get a uh, talking to those on Napa's. Get their stones. Veronis Hulk rebooted. That's great. Another skip travel point for us, so if we need to get back here, we absolutely can. Hey, can and some good EXP from that. 
And look at the trader pawn. Thanks to research, now we know that certain collectible items are easier to get from fabricators. Right, if needing to getting wings on sneaky elusive collectibles, try the fabricator. Well, we could certainly try. R red dread. Red red. Do you have a moment? We've been asked by Shilshil to... Well, well, not often see human on errand. Shil shall ask friend to collect these things, yes? Like Shil shall too lazy to use own feet. Make all Nopon look bad. I got a blue pebble. A blue stone. Thanks. Red Red has said peace. Much obliged to humans. Now get the hell out of my camp. Red Red and Zoka not forget such things when doing business. Zoka is lovely plan. Friends should visit if time or inclination. Will do, thanks. Good to add more names. Where is Zoka? I don't see Zoka. You have more to say, Red Red? Red Red getting next to none customers, so give Fabricator good old testing out. It not make much of what can be found in local area, but more likely to produce rare stuff. Perhaps it's a matter of whether friends value quantity or quality. And the Trader Pond? I believe I can get affinity from the Trader Pond. Just by talking. Please borrow his wares again. I can. Yes, genius. But there was also this container, and they normally have very good stuff. Yes, not on gold coins. And lots of money, gemstones. And some nice uh, accessories. Is there only one? No, there's one around back. Yes, give me more there's gold knop on coins. Those are unbelievably useful. Look at those. Yes, gemstones, auto balancer, repulsor cuffs, more gemstones. How much does a fabricator cost? 600? Sure, I'll give it a few. A few whirls? What do we get? Load me up. Load it up. Wow, look at all this stuff. What do we get? Munchy grub fossils, some onyx, plumellos, longleaf, peppers, cabbage, fossils. Oh, very good. Let's do uh let's do one more. Sure, why not? We have more than enough money. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Oh, this is a different set. Look at all this different stuff. Jalapenoki, Carbonite, Citrabel, Gungnir, Celeblade, Tefeta Lobster. We've seen those before. Man, cool stuff all around. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Mm, but I think, I think with that Ferranus Hulk, that is, um, I, that's a, that's a good, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say that that is uh, a suitable amount of content for this episode we got some we finally finally made some story progress and on the next episode we're going to be making even more story progress we'll be exploring the table land further and uh we'll be continuing on so whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time later